Instructors BK, Soto, and Mitchell. This is the Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge. Earning your living executing trades from the comfort of your home seems a lot more cool than most nine to five gigs. Trouble is, if you don't know what you're doing, you can wreck your portfolio. But with our trading instructors, BK, Soto, and Mitchell, you'll learn how to day trade the futures market. Streaming daily, 9 to 11 a.m., free. This is a free trading education channel. The Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge, where everybody is welcome. Get in the chat, ask us questions, learn. And now your instructors, this is BK, Soto, and Mitchell. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the uh, chat, or live stream. Uh, sorry, we're running a little bit behind this morning. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Soda, do you hear me? I do. Everything's good, ready to go. Good morning. Oh, awesome, awesome. Good, good. Yeah, well, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're running just a few minutes behind, but it's Tuesday, uh, September 10th. Uh, so thanks a lot for checking us out. This is day 13 of the live stream. Um, we've had some technical difficulties yesterday, so we weren't able to get on uh, yesterday. But um, I think we're I think we got it straightened out at this point. Um, hopefully, everybody can hear us and uh, we can kind of move on. But uh, if you're just joining us, thank you for taking the time to check us out. Sure do appreciate it. Uh, take a few minutes to read the disclosures here. Um, but the main thing that needs to be said is uh, this is definitely just for educational purposes only. Uh, so nothing we do here is a trade recommendation in any way, shape, or form. Okay, guys? So just take a few seconds to read that. Uh, and you can read more about that also in the um, description below. All right. We got that out of the way. So let's kind of get into, open up the chart here. You can kind of um, see what we're looking at here. <clears throat> but um, let me kind of introduce you, everybody. If you're new to the channel, uh, we have uh, three of us in here. Um, that will kind of help instruct and kind of you hear the conversation going on behind the scenes what we're thinking how we're talking and uh, or what we're how we're talking and what we're thinking I guess I should say and and then kind of what's going on in the market what we're looking for but you'll see myself as BK and then you'll also have Soto and Mitchell uh, Mitchell will be joining us a little bit late this morning but Soto we got you on the line how you, everything going well this morning sir uh, great, man. Uh, just glad to be back in trading we had the weekend off and like you said, we had some issues yesterday, but uh, we're back and ready to have a good week. Yeah, as you like to say, anytime you have technology, there's always going to be some kind of <laughs> issues that kind of sneak up on you. And, and uh, yeah. yesterday we had a good smooth week last week, I think, but uh, kind of started off this week kind of rough, but that's okay. You know, uh, we're here today and, and ready to start looking at some markets and talking through some trading. So that's good. Great. Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Let me go ahead and X out a couple things and uh, kind of make sure we're all square away. So if you're in the chat, just holler at us. Make sure uh, Paul's usually here pretty early this morning so he can let us know, make sure he can hear us. Uh, that'd be great because uh, we couldn't get sound yesterday for some reason. So uh, Paul, if you end up popping in the chat there and let us know if you can hear us or if anybody jumps in the chat that's new, uh, say hi and, and, um, to make sure we can hear you and all that good stuff or you can hear us okay <clears throat> but if you are like i said if you're just joining us again thank you for for doing that um you kind of look in in the description below you kind of learn a little about what we're doing here and what the kind of the channel is all about um we're really here to kind of be a totally free educational trading channel kind of our method on the on the uh, s p 500 um it's the the uh the channel's called you know titan futures but the, it's always it's kind of a one point a day challenge concept um and one point a day does add up you know uh so you focus small and it, and it gives you ends up giving you big results in the long run and that's kind of the thing we want to uh, focus on you know um uh, so we want to be very positive positive and respectful here as well you know very encouraging you know we want to make sure that if you're new to trading, then ask any question you want to ask, and we'll be happy to answer and talk through it with you, you know, and kind of give you our opinion on that. And, uh, and so please ask any question you have. You know, we also like constructive criticism here as well, because this is not our uh, profession, you know, <laughs> going out here on YouTube and, and marketing and, and doing that, that we, we trade, you know, so we're trying to 
bring that to you and kind of let you learn our method here and, and, and for some people to click and some people will like the method and some people won't you know it's too slow for them or or they don't have the patience for it or they don't want to see they want more than one point a day you know and and that's okay you know that's not for everybody but um, it's a proven method um, and you gotta get sticky at times because price action is going to do what it does you know and, and markets can do what it wants to do and sometimes it doesn't cooperate the way we think it should go <laughs> you know so it could be us and or the market either way but uh, we want to kind of um, get our points and get out um, but again when it comes to the channel just to be very positive and, and encouraging and, and you know if you if you like the channel or you like what we're doing help us make this channel to be a great um, resource on YouTube here we want to uh, be very we want, we'd love to be the best free trading channel out there when it comes to future futures, but we will need your help to do that. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, help us get there. All right, that's kind of enough. You can kind of read the rest of the uh, description there, and y'all can kind of um, take you know take your time and read that and learn a little bit more about us. But so all right, uh, so um so do, um i guess we can go right to the charts this morning because we're a few minutes behind so what do you you seen anything anywhere that you like um uh, yeah kind of like you i'm a little behind getting started myself but uh the first one that i see uh kind of uh 545 this morning 545 uh, all right 545 uh for a demand okay yeah i see it uh, I think this is going to be. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going towards the top here, potentially around 70 and a quarter, 70.5, uh, 70.25, um, and that's just based on. Uh, first, it's a small zone, so I, I'm not afraid to get it kicked out. But also, you got several touches there, openings and closes, and uh, 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 wicks uh, touching. Uh, all the way through behind that 545. All right. Um, and as you can see now, volume is it's increasing a little too much here. Um, so I don't know. What, what do you think? Yeah, it's, I think it's a good zone. It's definitely going to, I believe, going to cause some hesitation in there. Um, we'll just kind of watch this right here. And volume kind of stays low right here. I think it'll be a good spot. You know, and I like your entry. At, uh, you said 70 and a quarter. Is that what you yeah. said? You're right, be aggressive right at the top. Yeah. You know, so I'll go 70 even. I like 70 even. Um, so I'd get into this trade. Yep, I sure would. You know, kind of watch it here, but um, volume staying low a little bit right now. And um, we're coming out of a, a support break, you know, so um, I would be kind of a concern, but not, not too much. Uh, but we'll kind of watch it here and see. Uh, but I kind of like that. Um, that trade there we'll kind of give it some room to ride as well um so we'll go ahead and if it's in there i'll jump at it so are you in you gonna get in this trade order pending yeah i think i am here yeah uh, just put the order in at uh the 7.25 yeah let's yeah. see if uh it respects it uh well, I'm going to actually get out of this trade. Okay. The reason is I just saw volume kind of creep a little too fast for me there. All right. Uh, so I'd rather, I think I'm just going to wait right now. Order right. canceled. I'll do the same with you. I'm kind of following your lead on that. So we'll, we'll let that kind of get some legs this morning and uh, kind of show us what price is going to go. Yeah. Let's see, um, and then I think, uh, let me look around here. Um, it's kind of right. So you got almost two, if, go back to the five o'clock um, doji. Yeah. I, I kind of, this is something I don't know what to think. I, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like two songs on top of each other because the way I look at it is, well, which one are they going to respect first? Which one are they going to go to first? Sure. Um, you know, tip, I guess you can say typically it goes to the one closest to them, but that's not true. Not always true, I don't think. So, right. kind of congested here. What do you think? Yeah, no, I like your logic completely on that. Yeah, um, it's going to be definitely an area we, we're going to we should just uh, 
we should see some rejection around this area a little bounce uh, between that area those two zones right there but like you said just don't know which one's going to be there we don't know which one's going to bounce so um i'm better off we're better off just to kind of stay out of that and, and not get uh not get disrespect within the zone that we were hoping for you know so uh, right yeah i like your idea there and your thought process so we'll kind of wait and be patient yeah, yeah good morning yeah. paul uh glad you're joined joining us here uh, hopefully you can hear us this morning i know we couldn't yesterday please please let us know if you don't mind though if you can hear us paul that'd be great though I really don't see that there's anything from this morning um, that's happened um, there might be a yeah, there's a zone up top and that's a pretty good ways off um, for a resistance area uh, supplies 305 uh, that's already been triggered yeah it's already been triggered yeah no, all the way back in the um, 2100 2130 frame um, yeah 2130 yeah, yeah well, kind of leave that up there uh, but that would be a, a, a supply zone that we can go ahead and mark up because it's, it qualifies for everything meets all the criteria so we could definitely mark that up um, I don't know the price is going to move into that direction anytime soon but we'll kind of wait and see you never know so we'll just be patient I'm, right here yeah I'm actually going to use that this candle actually engulf this back candle uh, the tw uh, 2015 candle Doji? Um, what about it? Okay, I'm going to mark that one up okay. uh, just to kind of, I guess the way I'm, I'm thinking is to consider that it's a wider zone than the uh, uh, 2130, yeah. but it's engulfed in the 2130. So obviously, I think our trade will come in the 2130, but I think the way I like to do it is to understand that hey there's there's more two little actually resi uh, uh, resistance up there above it uh, looking at the 2050 uh, and the uh, 2015 so that looking at volume and volume is coming a little stronger than I would like that tells me to back up a little bit go a little higher in the price just because there's a little more resistance up there uh, but that, does that make sense yeah absolutely yeah sure perfect But, but you're right, I think our trade will, is going to come out of the 2135, uh, sorry, 2130 uh, trade. Yeah, and if, yeah. yeah, if you look at to the left of that, there's a lot of open and closes. There's very small candles in that area. Yeah, so, there's a lot, of, a lot going on right there, price-wise. Yeah. So, but I think you said the key thing I think you said well, was we'll have to wait and see how volume's reacting as it gets closer to that area. If it's still so strong strength in the, into that area, then... I think you're right. It might respect the original um, candle there, so we'll just kind of wait, wait to see what that what happens when we get to that price. Yeah. But, cool. Yeah. So for that go for that concept, we're kind of still just hanging and waiting to see what this is going to do here. Um, absolutely can do a couple things here, so we'll kind of just watch it and see. Okay. Now uh, let's see. So we got, just to kind of be on the same boat, we only got two zones so far, the 545 and the, uh, the one up top there, the uh, yeah. 23. Yeah, we got a supply zone up there at 2130 and a demand zone at 545. Uh, I've got one. I don't know when I got it. I must have. Do you, uh, if you go back to 925, uh -huh. I got a zone there. 925? What do you mean, yeah. 925? Go back. No. I think, days? yeah, I guess it's from yesterday. Okay. Uh, 
Yes, the 10, yeah, yesterday, 925. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, got doji right there, yep. High side, yeah. Do you like the doji better or do you like the uh, 930 um, candle better? Um, hold on a second, I'm getting on the chart here. Um, let's see. No, I like the doji better. You know, I think you're going to get uh, price action in and around uh, about midpoint there at twenty nine uh, 29.90 a quarter. If we were to get yeah. up there because of that uh, rejection there at 9.30. Um, but I uh, like the price up there. I like that. I like that candle. Okay. So we'll mark that one up as well. So we definitely got some opportunities to the to the long side here from a resistance standpoint. So we're gonna watch that. Looking back at the live price right now, there's still uh, we got a double bottom so far. Uh, so that's uh, they're respecting. Yeah, they're respecting right there at the top of that. Um, 70 and a quarter where you yeah. pointed out earlier yeah, yeah so yeah, let's we'll see what it does here but i'm not um, still not interested in the trade anymore yeah yeah <clears throat> kind of under the weather this morning so i'm so sure i sound kind of rough but so you're gonna have to do yeah. a lot of talking there big guy okay, okay. you got some allergies going on yeah yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, <laughs> How about you? Are you better? Um, uh, yeah, a little better. Um, uh, the, uh, the, I think the medicine was working pretty good. Yeah, yeah, good. Still working, though. So. Yes, so far, so good. Great, good deal. That's good. <laughs> Just a bunch of... We're a bunch of old guys apparently now we need medicine. I know, isn't that funny? Man. What's going on? <laughs> getting old, man. Like you nailed it. Getting old. Getting old, bro. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Okay, I like this push out. Let's see what's going on. What time is it? So, okay, big boys. Mark's about to open here soon. Um, I don't see much in the bottom end. Let's see. That, uh, oh, this is cool. If you uh, look at that zone that we drew, 545, if you were to go back, uh, all the way to uh, 1240, they came right to the uh, to that area, to the very bottom of that zone. They stretched out together before they took off to go long. Hmm. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess to show you that there's um, there's this thing's just not random as people think it is. You know, there's there's reasons behind what they're doing. Yeah. The, uh, the weather, man, it's been, I think it's the hottest it's been, I think, all year. Yeah, it's 100 degrees, man. Yeah. yeah so it's hot. It's uh, quite warm. Let's see. I'm going to go to the uh, 60 minute candle real quick. Just yeah. to Kind of do what you do. I, I don't. I really don't do that yet. I'm not used to it. I, I know you just copy it. You just taught me how to do that, or to look at that rather. Um, I still haven't really fully done it. Um, but based on that, um, it looks like our 
resistance up there up north in the 2984, 2983 area. Uh, seems to be a true, a really good uh, resistance there. You got uh, a rejection from that area. Yeah. And actually, all, also the uh, the uh, 90 price, the 2990. Right. Uh, so that seems to be good. So let me see here. Um, like I said earlier, the 1700 hour candle from uh, September 5th seems to support. Uh, and 1300 hour from uh, yes uh, from yesterday seems to support our current zone that we got right be below us, but they broke it, and uh, at the five o'clock they got a little lower price. So that's gonna be that's why I think it was good for us to maybe not look for a trade there. I think I'm gonna try to do what we've always talked about, waiting for price to be moving. You know, have the institutional guys to move in and see the process, you know, going from high speed to reducing speed to, you know, getting ready to turn. Um, and I think what got me in the last couple of weeks was, you know, we we're so, I was so close to the price action that, you know, they just kind of hit the field and they, 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 they drove right by us. Uh, does that make sense? Sure. Or, yeah, no, sure. Absolutely does. I think I feel more comfortable seeing price coming my way from a long distance, you know, then, you know, just like right next door. No, I understand that. Yeah. So, yeah, 60 mana candles look good. So, the limited knowledge that I have from those. Let me go back to the five minutes. So, one of the apparently side effects of this medicine I'm taking is dry mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> you ever drink a lot of water, are you? Yeah, I need to, I need to drink a little more water. So. <sighs> cool. yeah. so, so, uh, I got a. Uh, okay, so now, um, are you looking at price action right now? Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. This, no matter what, I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah, yeah, I just want you to kind of just be sure we're looking at it here. There it is. Very good. Yeah, That's cool. I guess I get excited. Oh yeah, you need to. Yeah, it's market open right there, so it's, it's good. Yeah, they were expecting the sound. We would have taken a. Two ticks of heat, and we would have had the point had we gone there the quarter. But now look, now they're going back to the bottom. Yeah, I think they'll push through it. But. Yeah, they're gonna push through it. Yes. Like you said, though, from the intrabar standpoint, we would have made our point, which is good. Right, right. You know, they pushed through the zone, but they respected our entry area and gave us our point. Uh, yeah. Had we decided to go for it, but just like you said, it was a little. Price is a little too tight right now. I want to see it spread out a little bit, and kind of get some legs one way or the other, and kind of come into a zone from a uh, kind of from a distance, like you said. So exactly. But yeah, it's but that's uh, what I was looking for is to see if they're respected in uh, within the uh, the creating creation of the candle, and they did. So that's uh, that's good. I have nothing. I guess you can argue. Will you consider the 435 a sound there? No, I mean, I, I, I mean, there's going to be some hesitation there, um, obviously, because there's a lot of 
buyers right there. Um, but I just, it's not the best zone as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I think there's definitely going to be some resistance right there or support right there. You know, but I feel a little bit bounce in this area, I believe, right around the 66, 75. But um, I'm not going to trade it. price to bust on through here that is what I'd like to see and then kind of get some direction to the downside and look for a retracement back up into the into the uh, price action yeah that's what I would like to see at this point because they went they uh as of right now they went straight for that uh 435 candle yeah they went, they went to the very bottom of that Uh, any news today we have to worry about, think about? Uh, no, not today. Uh, let me double check it. I didn't, I didn't really check it this morning. Okay. Which is not, I usually do, but I didn't. Yeah, not really. Nothing, nothing coming out that we have to worry about today. Alright. Good man, good, yeah. Everything's good. I'm just really sore, but everything is good. Oh good man. Uh huh. No, I was sorry, talking to myself. I was like, I pressed something, I don't know what it was. Oh. Out of it if I just want to keep an eye on the uh, 435 candle there. Yeah. I expected to have a good rejection out of. Yeah. Uh, it came back and broke it. But I just want to kind of keep an eye on it. See how they traded to go, you know, if they flip it over or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I think if you had not been with me this morning, I, I uh, just going to be an honest, I would have traded, I would have traded out of that 435. That 435 zone. Um, just because I, you know, again, with my limited knowledge, but based on what I, you know, I, I thought that would have been a good zone. Yeah. Well, it, it worked. I mean, in real well, in real time, intra bar, it bounced enough to get you a point. So we saw that in intra bar. Sure. You know, so, but, you know, I just don't think that's a zone that's going to stay um, respected. But, Right. I mean, obviously, it's been broken at this point, but uh, right. But there's a lot of support there, so it could yeah. take off to the long side from here. We don't know, but so I don't know that you're. I just, I just didn't like the zone because it doesn't really break a previous swing high all in one motion. You know, that 435. Yeah. yeah. You know, even though that's engulfing candle, it's at 430 and it breaks that. I just don't like that. I would have liked it to see. I would have liked it to break the 405 high right there, all in one swoop. Then I would have considered that a good zone. Yeah. I don't okay. like all the side. I don't like all the side stepping before it breaks it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's a good teaching opportunity there. So, because I was going to ask you, okay, why? But that's what you're saying. So yeah, makes makes two sense. sense.
Yeah, I'm just trying to, like I said, I, I'm trying to improve my, uh, you know, obviously I can point out some supply and demand, but I want to be sure I pick the best supply and demand sounds or true supply and demand sounds rather than, you know, support resistance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the, that makes sense. So I got an, uh, an email from a friend of mine, and uh, she uh, sent me this uh, this workout regimen <laughs> diet. Yeah. Yeah, and you know it's not good when they start that. There's a pre-workout. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> this is your first meal. Oh, yeah, you know, meal one and then pre workout and all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, listen. <laughs> and <it> work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting you ready for competition, sounds like. Yeah. That's, that's, that's funny, yeah. Uh... What did uh, you say your uh, golf uh, handicap was? I think I told you mine was 2.5. Two what was yours? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a scratch. Yeah. Zero. Settle. Uh huh. Uh, settle. Zero. What? Are you? Are you? Wait. What? Yes, sir. My my handicap was in golf. It's a scratch. I'm zero handicap. Okay. So. Um, Used to be a plus one, plus two, but I haven't played enough to get back to that level. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought the, the lower the number, the better. Well, it is, yeah. I mean, but what the way it goes is, is zero, it means you're, you shoot par, basically. You're, you're on, on average, you'll shoot 72, 73. Every once in a while, oh. shoot 71. You know, that kind of stuff. But, but then if you're a minus two... You know, that means you're, you're a little bit over par. If you're a plus, that means you're always under par. So if you're a plus one, that means you constantly shoot under par. You're the, the, uh, when you get into the plus numbers, you're, you're, that means you're a really, really, really good golfer. Okay, that's, that's why I'm a 2.5. Yeah, well, I mean, if you got a 2.5 handicap, that still means you're a really good golfer. That means you're shooting 75 and, or, you know, 73, 75, 76s, you know. So it means you're still a really good golfer. <laughs> well, a lot yeah. better than most people. Yeah, I was just, by the way, I'm joking about mine. Um, yeah, yeah most, most people that, most people think if you say plus, that means you're above par. But no, when you're a plus handicap, it means you're under par all the time. Okay. So that's, okay. yeah, so somebody says they're a plus two or plus three, that means they're shooting, on a par 72 course, means you're shooting 68s to 69s to 70s consistently, always under par. That's, uh, now, is that under the USGA uh, Handicap Index? Yes, that's what that means, yep. Yeah. All right. It all comes down to the course rating and the slope rating and all that to kind of tell you what it is per course. But in a general, just a par 72 course, um, when you're a plus handicap, that means you're going to shoot uh, 72 or better or under. So, yeah. Most nice. people, most people aren't are that. <laughs> Probably less than one or two percent of all golfers are plus handicappers. Right. Like the right. guys on, like the guys on tour. You know, a lot of the college kids that are playing on golf scholarships, they're all plus four, five, six, seven guys. They're all plus. You know. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm not. So. <laughs> right. <clears throat> So good price action right here to the downside. That's good. Yeah, yep. like it. So, so now will you feel to make a? Uh, will you go ahead and make the uh, 930 area a new zone, or since we got a couple of below that, you you won't do that? No, it's that. <clears throat> goodness, it's definitely a good uh, zone, but um, I don't think it's going to get back up into that. With this kind of a move down, I don't yeah. think that if it's going to continue to the downside, I don't think it's going to go all the way back up there before it goes back down. I think it, I think it'll get held up around our um, 
the 435 area, that little sideways action there. I think it's going to get yeah. held up there first. So I'll draw my zone. I'll draw a zone just kind of encompassing that whole area. Uh -huh. So I think it gets held up in that area first. So I'd be looking for a short trade out of that area at this point. Okay. And that's the, uh, I'm sorry, what area is that? The uh, 435, <clears throat> Kalo, that you, that whole area there, the little sideways move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, I would consider that as going to be uh, resistance now. Okay, all right. Ah, the student has a couple of tricks up his sleeve, huh? He does, he does. But, you know, we've got the. Um, I looked, uh, we got a long trade that hasn't been triggered from all the way back to September 5th. September 5th. And, um, so we drew a zone up that still hasn't been. Oh, uh, yeah. I had this morning, or last, or rather last night, I uh, I had a bunch of zones that still weren't triggered yet. Yeah. I, I took them out uh, just so I could have a clean chart this morning. Um, let me go back to. September 5th, you said? Yeah, at 415 in the morning where we drew that zone. Uh, the other two that we had there have been have been taken out, so we can go to that uh, present zone, though. Okay. What, I'm sorry, uh, September 5th, what time? 415 in the morning. 415. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're kind of marked up. I got, I got my, my little blue uh, arrows on it. Yeah, there you go. I deleted the, uh, I deleted the, uh, the zone there. But it's rejecting pretty good right here out of this, whatever this zone is right here. It's rejecting pretty good. But, um, so we'll still watch that, man, you know. I get down in there, price will start to slow down a little bit into that area. That could be a good area for a uh, buy uh, yeah. back into, actually all the way back into this retracement zone. So <laughs> might yeah. be something I'll buy and hold here for a few points. We'll see. I think, I think uh, if, if I, I go, go there, I'm looking at 29.57 and a quarter. That's a potential there. Or 56.5. All right, so you're going down deep in there, huh? So let's see. Well, my first, sorry, my first one is 57.25. Yeah, I like that one, yeah. And then if I go deeper, it will be at a uh, uh, 26.5. 56.5? Uh, yeah, 56.5 is my deep. Gotcha, okay. And then 57 and a quarter is my higher. Yeah, I like 57 and a quarter. I like both of those, yeah. I like both of them. I think if we trade out of um, the zone um, right above us here, um, I would be looking at 66.5. What, what do you think in that area? Yeah, I like 66.5. <clears throat> I think it's a good area. Might even go a little lower <clears throat> to 66 and a quarter just to make sure I get in. Um, but I like that area. I'll be a little more aggressive on this one because I think we're going to go down lower. So 
I would go with 66 and a quarter. Order pending. I'm the uh, classic. Um, I, I, I can either drink whatever drink I'm drinking. Either I drink it extremely fast, or if I sip on it, it's going to take forever. And I've reheated this coffee like seven times already. Because I'll, I'll get into it. I got my little breakfast here ready to snack on. I got some, those um, crackers from uh, the Belvita. And uh, but I'm so I was I'm focused on this, so I don't I don't I don't eat. I, I you know I'm trying to get the sounds ready and everything. But you know now we're slowing down. We're kind of waiting. So now I'm like, oh, gotta drink the coffee. And it's like super cold. Yeah, yeah like this thing. And you know, the more you reheat it, I think it loses some of the value in it. But you just already it seven times. So it's classic. That's funny. My wife's the same way, man. She'll. She'll heat up a coffee and or make a coffee, and then um, she'll drink one sip, go do something, and just completely get sidetracked and come back and it's freezing. So she puts yeah. it in the microwave. I mean, she puts it in the microwave three or four times before she yeah. gets it all because she gets busy doing other things. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so funny. It's the same way. Yeah. Man, by the way, I was thinking about this the other day. Your uh, uh, your kid has won more championship games before the age of ten than any that I've ever even been to. Not like that I played in. He hasn't even been to any championship games. <laughs> well, he plays a lot of ball. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty impressive. So congrats. Well, thanks. Yeah, they they do a good job, man. They they uh they're a pretty good group of kids, man. Pretty good ball players. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you remember? Uh, I don't know if Mitchell, uh, Mitch, rather, uh, Mitchell's dad. Uh -huh. Did he did he tell you about when uh, I think it was Mitch Mitchell was playing baseball? And I mean, this is when they were really young, and they never won a single game. And uh, I don't think they even scored like all season kind of thing. And yeah, finally one of the kids scored. A uh, run. He, you know, he was a big boy, uh -huh. and I think he, you know, got lucky and hit like a home run or whatever, you know. And he's going around like he's done it like all season. He's like, yeah, piece of cake, piece of cake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the first time they score all season, but yeah, that's. Uh, that's okay. good though. Like they say, you know, be, I like you've been there before, you know, so that's good. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> piece of cake. Yeah, I did, you have to ask Mitchell, uh, Mitchell about that. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun to watch, man. I mean, I guess uh, my poor wife, you know, she comes from a very musical family, not much athletically. I mean, they play a little bit here and there, but right. growing up, but I, I come from nothing but athletic background and family, and and um, that's all my parents did was run all over the country for me, you know, and, and taking me to all these different tournaments all over the country, and and uh tell my wife apologize to my wife all the time because she's kind of paying for my raising so to speak <laughs> you know and having to go to all these tournaments everywhere every weekend and every you know two or three days a week and every weekend and uh so it's just kind of funny you know to have to she has to yeah. suffer for me <laughs> so yeah. yeah that's uh yeah, yeah that's, that's true, true. Especially, especially i feel, I feel like, like man it's, it's <laughs> 
you know, the schedule, I think baseball, I, I, again, I've never played baseball, but I think baseball schedules are so demanding. You know, you got so many games in the season. Um, compared to, for example, I play soccer. We play Order next one, week, uh, one game a week. You don't play more than a game a week. Sure. So, uh, same thing with football. I play football, and again, you get one game a week, and that's it. Uh, so that's, and that was plenty, you know, and I, and I was the kicker, so. <laughs> so I can't imagine. Uh, <laughs> no, I definitely hear you. I understand. It's definitely now, a little more demanding because because of, of just from the schedule standpoint, you know. Yes. Yeah. But we don't overdo it though. We kind of keep it easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so we, we got, got price, price action here approaching us. us. Uh-huh. Volume is decreasing. decreasing. Uh, we, we got, got a minute thirty on this candle. candle. What, what are you What are you thinking? thinking? I mean, I've got an order sitting right now at fifty-seven and a quarter. So. Fifty-seven and a quarter. Okay. Yeah, right. Right. So you have to go to. 57.25. Yeah, so I got to order there to see if it can stretch down there and get me, wick me in. There's obviously a lot of rejection down in this area, just whether to get down to us, I don't know. Yeah. It might take off right at 58 instead, so might be, yeah. it might be a little too conservative here, but we'll see. We'll kind of see what Price wants to do. Sure. All those wicks, though, are telling you, you know, Right, a lot of a lot of support in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad that whenever I have kids, uh, they're gonna have a great uncle in uh, in BK to, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to train in the real sports over here. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You better get at it, then, boy. You're getting old. Yeah, man, I need to do something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be that old, like dad, like kids. seven years old. <laughs> kids eight years old and his dad's sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen so, so many of those. It's not even funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's for too bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's funny. All right, Price, come on, stretch. <laughs> There you go, I like that right there. Stretch a little bit lower. Are you looking at uh, order flow by any chance? No, I'm not. Um, okay. I'm not watching it right now. Uh, quick question. Will you, and this is just, again, a learning opportunity for me here. The 950 candle, is that a hidden zone since it was engulfed by the previous candle? Um, it would be. I don't like how fat the body is still. It's not 50%, but yeah, it's, there's going to be some slowdown in that area, I would imagine. Uh, but I wouldn't consider that as it's too big of a zone for me. But I, okay. think, I think it would definitely be some area of uh, potential rejection to the downside. Uh, okay. Okay. Are you okay with that rejection wick on top there? Uh, I am, you know, because we know it needs to come down in our zone a little bit. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I'm all right with it for right now. What I don't want to see is happen is right here that it bounces and goes all the way back up from this spot right here. That, that tells me we missed the trade. The best thing okay. is there, so I gotta, I gotta watch. Hopefully, I want it to get a little deeper.
How did the uh, uh, arbitrator do? Uh, it's taken a couple losses last few trade, last few times. It's taken a couple losses, so um, which is fine, you know. I mean, that's part of it, you know. I mean, the thing it's lost five or six times in a row before, you know, but then it always comes back. So that's that's where it comes really important on uh, having risk, proper money management, you know, um, so you can sustain those small losses and. And um, gave it opportunity for to come back and make the big trade. So, um, so yeah, that's um, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what's um, cool about the auto trader. So we're just gonna for the last couple of trades, yeah, have been losers on there. So, but that's okay. You know, it's part of it. It's, nothing's gonna be perfect, right? Right. So, uh, I know you just. Very unless important. you're the, unless unless you're the, you're the Boston, Boston Red Sox, Sox then <laughs> yeah, you can't win everything. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Actually, they lost. I think they lost, uh, I guess, the Yankees quite two, two games in a row. Yeah, that's to be expected. That's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's your, uh, how's your <coughs> Colorado Rockies over there doing? Uh, Mitchell says he's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, hold on just a second. Let me go ahead and bring him in. Give me a minute. So I know yesterday I'm going to say this is going to sound like a fishing story, but I was 3 and 0 yesterday. Yeah, good for you, man. No, I believe it completely. That's good. I didn't have Soto making me all feel pressured. <laughs> but I can't get my Ninja Trader to work this morning. I have green lights on both of my accounts, but I have an orange light down in the left corner. Oh, it's, it's just taking a little long. Yeah, it took a little long for me to get it up going. So you just wait when this happens, or do you try to restart it? Just wait. Uh, oh, the green light. But if you got green light, where do you have green lights at? Because that would be the only way you next, have green lights. Next to my accounts. Yeah, yeah, you know, next to my accounts, they're both green. Yeah. Uh, but then in the bottom left corner of the screen, the, like the big button, is an orange light. Hmm. Yeah, um, like I said, that happened to me this morning. Just give it a few, few minutes there. You know, I'm patient, so I know, buddy. Order canceled. I was telling, uh, I was, I was telling BK about, uh, your dad was telling me a story when you played uh, baseball, um, and you guys, like, lost every single game, you didn't score, like, all season, and then you guys, I think in the last game, one of your... Uh, guys in the team there scored, uh, I think, a home run, and he was walking around, and he kept saying, he was a big boy, and he kept saying, uh, piece of cake, dog. Do what? What was he saying? Uh, piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake, piece of cake, piece of cake. The best was that same kid. We once got beat by over 10 runs, and so, you know, the, the scoreboard starts over, and so it looked like it was two to three, and he was like, hot diggity dog, we won. I was like, no, it is 12 to three. We we lost miserably. He was the kid that sat down in center field and made, uh, made grass sculptures. Okay. There we go. He wore Harry Potter shirts to games instead of the uniform. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
He was that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So I'm assuming y'all are zoned up at 9.30? Uh, yeah, the zone, 9.30, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all probably even have a trigger line at 2971.7. Seventy-one what? Uh seventy-one five, seventy-one seven five, somewhere around there. Uh-huh. Um, I don't have a trigger line yet. If I go there, you're going no. low. I know you. you <laughs> I don't think you can go low there, sir. Yeah, I, I think, think. Well, you got you got, got two stones right next to each other. If you look at the uh, five uh, five forty-five candle there, I'm with you. It got respected. Yeah, it got respected on the way down, so... You're at 70.75? 70.25 potentially there. Uh, Ooh, going real bold this morning. <laughs> uh, we also got a... I got a... A 435. Um, uh, so we got 435, 545, uh, 930, and then we got somewhere up north that we may not, may not need to worry about right now. And then the one we were waiting here at the bottom. Uh, Several days ago. Are you grading cheese? Uh, <laughs> no. It's the mouse. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like you're making a parmesan over there. <laughs> uh, Four fifteen from September, uh, September fifth. September fifth. Yeah. Um, I've got two thirty-five from uh, June seventh. I'm gonna use that. I'm kidding. This is good. You say June seventh? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Guys, I got for twenty seventeen. <laughs> I'm looking back at my 2015 chart, and there's a good zone. There's a good zone. We can use it. That's good. That's fine. Uh, I missed you guys yesterday. Yeah, man. Yeah, I hate that. We had some difficulties uh, technically, so we had to just kill it. But yeah, yeah, it's good to be back. But it sounded like you didn't miss us too much, man. You made three on your own, so that was good. That's yeah. true. That's true. I had to prove it to myself that I still have it. Oh, man. Look, man, you're getting closer and closer, aren't you? I am. It's, uh, it's 10 days today. No way. I'm not Yeah, it's, it's getting close. Uh, con congrats, yeah, bud. Yeah, very cool, very cool. I'm ready for it, man. Too, Too much, much togetherness. togetherness. Too many family members together, talking, having to be plan things together and things like that. So, it needs to come and go. So, are you, you getting married that Friday? Yeah, uh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, so you're not going to trade that morning on Friday? Or? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably be getting an hour or two hours of trade on Friday. They're all offended because they were like, so you're not working next week? I was like, no, I was going to work all day Thursday. <laughs> and they come, like, Why would you do that? Why not? What am I going to do? Just sit home and think about it? Yeah. So you're about to be gone all the following the whole week. <laughs> exactly. At that point, there's nothing I could do. Yeah. Give me one, one second, second, guys. I gotta, I gotta re-heat my, my coffee, coffee up, up again. again. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Round 10. So yeah, Mitch, yesterday was a pretty good day. Good movement and everything. Um, not really as far as movement goes. It stayed sideways, but it definitely moved up and down in a sideways and pretty much in a sideways motion. You know what I mean? Um, but they had good good respect. You know, All right. It was just like a wavelength, up and down, up and down. Not big candles, nothing really crazy. But they did what they were supposed to do. Good. Right. So my daughter's cat ran away a couple of weeks ago with between the three of us and everyone on this channel I was very excited about. <laughs> <laughs> This morning I was taking her to school, and she's like, I hear a cat. I hear a cat. Well, it wasn't that cat. There was another cat stuck in a tree in our house. It was a kitten. So I got it down, and I told her that it's not allowed inside because I made that mistake the first time. But we have an outside cat now, I believe, because I don't think she's going anywhere. She's on back on cloud nine. God sent her a cat. That's what she told me. Oh, really? Wow. Just felt hanging out in the tree waiting on you. That's yeah. Awesome. Well, that's good. I don't, I don't like cats. Is that okay to say? Can I say that? I don't like cats. You're entitled to your opinion. I agree. I, I don't mind a cat. I like, I like an outside cat to kind of keep all the riffraff away. But uh, I did not enjoy having an inside cat just because I was I'm the cleaner of the relationship the neat freak and, uh, and the whole litter box thing man I was uh, it was a lot I mean I was to the point where I was going to go buy one of those crazy expensive automatic litter boxes that the cat goes in and it cleans itself and everything but I never did yeah, yeah, cats, cats make, make me feel, feel very uncomfortable. That says a lot about your character. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. But I just I don't, don't like cats, cats, man. I just they do seem like they're looking into your soul when they look at you. <laughs> they do. I'm like, this cat, this cat knows me, bro. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Dogs, dogs is the way to go, bro. Not, and not just any dog. You can't get like a little dog that can be killed by a cat. You need to have like a real dog. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're sitting there with a the little lap dog. <laughs> yeah, as he passes. He I got here with a little. There we go. Here it is. Make fun of the soda today. By the way, can you guys overdose on Benadryl? <laughs> I've taken record numbers of Benadryl. I am kind of concerned. I think that's where my dry mouth is coming from. Well, you're the doctor here, man, not us. Uh, yeah, I just, I've never used Benadryl in my life until now. That's funny. 
Pops Pops to the all parts that you leave out there. Yeah. <laughs> to the top. Just a slow death, man. Slow, slowly, slowly. Withering away. So I take it your skates isn't any better? Uh, it's, yeah, I'm actually, I have a brand new case. First of all, it's not skates. And second, my, yeah, my buddy drove me, uh, got me a prescription for steroids. So uh, I started taking those, and uh, so far so good. It's getting better, but I'm still taking Benadryl. Um, like I said, unfortunately, record numbers of Benadryl. So I once got a rash, a weird rash. My dad had this pharmacist friend, and he was like, "Go see Jack. Tell him what you got. And he'll write your prescription." So I go see him, and I said, "Hey, Dr. Jack, I have this rash. I'm not sure where I got it from." I think I got it from a dog. He said, two legged or four legged? <laughs> four legged dog. It is. It is not what you're thinking. He's like, all right, I got something for you. Said that in front of all of his customers. Talk about humiliating me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Order canceled. Hopefully you whip it, man. It's probably just a change of the seasons. Yeah, I think I, I really hope so. I think uh, I really hope it goes away. But the steroids did work, so that confirmed to me that uh, it is the uh, uh, hives. So, so uh, it, it is uh, seasonal or uh, environmental. So that's that's good. So it's not some autoimmune. Well, technically, it is autoimmune in a way, but um, I think it's a seasonal environment. All right, so, so I got touched on that. Uh, BK, did you have a tray there? I did. I had one at 57 and a quarter, and it touched me and bounced. So I pulled. Oh, you were 57.5? No, and a quarter. 57.5. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. But I, I pulled it at that point. Yeah, I mean, it bounced and went up already. We missed it. I missed it, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. So. Yeah. It touched me, but didn't catch me. What zone are y'all working off of right there? That's the uh, one from September 5th. Mm -hmm. The one you were making fun of is longer. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, do you guys, do you guys take, take naps? naps? Are you guys no, like, mm, people no, take naps? No, I work. No. <laughs> I'm taking a nap since kindergarten. <laughs> no, I don't take naps, sir. <laughs> well, no, there's a stuff that I'm reading, I'm looking at it right now. It says, uh, you know, how naps are beneficial. I'm sure they are. <laughs> In the village that I was born in, in Costa Rica, uh, they every day they take a nap. <laughs> every day, huh? Yeah, they they, they take uh, I think from two o'clock or one thirty or so that they have tea time and then they have a nap time. Do they still call us siesta? A siesta? Yeah, I think they call it a siesta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're making, you're making fun of them, but they are—they live longer than uh, than Americans do. So that's you know. Let's get it. Is that an actual proven fact? That, that is, yeah. Lots of fact see is better over there. 
the quality of life, you have longer lives over there? They do, they do. Uh, not me, because unfortunately I'm in the American diet. Uh, but, uh, no, yes, I was um, on, on, on paper better over there for health reasons. Just, but I think it's environmental, right? It's the food they eat tends to be better. They tend to walk more because of transportation. So, yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> When, uh, uh, one of our, our friends, friends, she's, she's uh, from, from Japan, Japan, and she had uh, she was concerned for her health, so she, she went to get a, a physical, <clears throat> and they did a uh, cholesterol <throat> test on her, and, and she, she came, came back and she asked me if I could tell her it was good or bad. I looked at the numbers and I said, "You're going to live forever." Her HDL, which is good cholesterol, was like unbelievably high, which is good. The higher the number, the better. Hers was like I've never seen it that high in anyone. So I'm like, like you're, you're to live for the rest, rest of your life, so you're good. good. You're, the rest, the rest of the time, time it's going to be. I'm about to start, start going, going and getting that, that stuff checked. Do what? About what age do you start going and getting that stuff checked? Uh, you know, just uh, I, you know, it kind of depends on you, you know. But uh, it's always good at starting when you're about thirty. Probably good just to have some numbers to go based on. It's not the baseline. Um, so that's, that's what, what I would do. Uh, of course, I haven't done it myself, but uh, uh, that's, that's what, what I would suggest is, is you know, uh, you know, check cholesterol, your blood pressure. pressure. And I've then I've uh, been to the doctor for a checkup in <laughs> no lie, probably 11 years. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm um, one of those that are like, oh, no, it'll be all right. I can walk it off. Right. I did that for my dad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> BK laughs. He likes to make that statement a lot. <laughs> What are you thinking, BK? You think they're going to dip down again into our area here? And if they do, are you going to trade out of them? No, I don't think I will. Um, I mean, shoot, I don't know, man. I mean, I think they're going to retrace back up into our 66 and a quarter areas where I like a trade short, but yeah. Um, I don't know if they're going to go back down any lower before they go back up there. I think there's just a lot of sideways right here, so I don't know. Uh, I really don't know, man. But I don't like... If they do go down there, price action's got to be very explanatory, you know, what we're doing, you know. But um, I'm just... I'm, I'm really looking at this point more of a retracement up to the 66 a quarter area for me, and then a short trade is what I'm looking for. Okay. I think we missed the perfect opportunity. We already missed our trade there, in my opinion, down in that zone. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, we bumped up against us, but just didn't go through us. So um, yeah. it bounced off there immediately and went long. So I think that was that was a good area, but we just missed the trade. I hate it, but we yeah. missed it. I think you're right. right. So, at least for me, I think so. So, so I work with this person, person who will send me emails, emails and, and then <laughs> text me and say, <laughs> kind of like you do, so Okay, okay never done that. Just a second, make, make sure you have my, you got, got my email. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, something went wrong with the server. It didn't okay. make, you know. Okay, stop. The only the reason, reason I do that with BK, BK is because he always has technical difficulties. So that's why I have to confirm with him if he got my messages. So, but I'm... Normally, no, really, I, I, I don't do, do that, that on people, people that have reliable technology. technology. So. No, well, don't go blaming things on me now while you do that, because that's just so not true. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely not true. You be a neurotic. <laughs> uh, 
speak game, man. We love you, buddy. That's good. I'm glad. I've never said anything negative. And that's, that's not negative. negative. That's, that's just, just unfortunately, his technology, which is racist, is not doesn't work, work well. And, uh, it's because I'm running everything over here. You're just one connection, <laughs> man. I've got like, five connections going on to try to get this thing to work. That's why. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'll be when y'all start he's taking this thing over. He's got their lights dim. Yeah, right. Exactly <laughs> right. I'm bringing so much power and pulling everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are about to take this over before long. Wheeler <laughs> Dam's calling him like, how much do you need me today? <laughs> how many jewels you want, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to give, give you what you want, want but this is also trying try to hook you up this morning. morning. Yeah, the hospital don't need it right now. <laughs> we'll let them go a couple hours without it. That was That's great. great. Technology, man, it's, it's, uh, it's something, something else. Uh, I was, uh, when, I when I was in college at Stanford, uh, I had invited, personally invited the chief financial advisor to, uh, at the time, John McCain, um, to come and speak to, uh, to the young Republican, college Republicans, but also to anyone in school that wanted to come. So we have, there's, this room was full of people. They're, they're excited. I'm, I'm in charge, right? And so he gets there. Or before, or before he gets there, he's like, hey, can you have a computer set up? Um, I want to play, play this DVD of um, McCain's... Uh, okay. Are you looking at that train here coming up? Yeah, we are. You can keep talking if you like. Yeah, hold on. I got it. I got my intro. I'm at 66 and a quarter. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm at 66 and five. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm on 65 <laughs> 64. I'm 64 and a quarter. Got it. Got it. Got it. But so he tells me that, like, you know, an hour before, before he gets there. there. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking, okay, no big deal. We got a projection. A projector. We got my laptop. We just have to hook it up. No. It. Finally, Finally, long story short, 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 he got, got there, we played, played the video, video you can only see a quarter of the screen, because, because the way that the computer was, it didn't, didn't match, I had a Mac, and, and it didn't, didn't match up with the system there, there. and so, so you, can only, you can only hear it order. and see a quarter of the actual uh, video. video. And, it and it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. So I'm sitting there, like, red, you know, embarrassed, and you know, everybody's trying to play cool, like, very supportive. Like, oh yeah, man, we didn't have to see the video, it's just good enough listening to it. So... Yeah, yeah, so technology, technology is, uh, it's not your friends. friends. <laughs> Something, Something always, always comes, comes up, up, you know, yeah, like, that's, that's never happened, happened to me, and then the day I needed to work, work it didn't, didn't want, want to work, work correct, correct, so. We have Sarah Palin, um, or not Palin, uh, we have her come, Birmingham Southern, but also Connelly's Rice. She's in the yeah. Yeah, she was good. Yeah, yeah she, she was actually on the late show yesterday, last night. Uh, yeah, with yeah, Stephen, Stephen Colbert. Colbert. Yeah, yeah, she, she got, got a good book out. out. She, she still teaches at Stanford? Stanford? Uh, last, last time, time I checked, checked yeah. yeah. Um, I know I she was teaching, teaching at Stanford. Stanford. Uh, and uh, she, she just, just wrote, wrote this book. book. You, you know, know she's big on Russia. Russia. So, uh, I really, I really, really like, like her. her. And, uh, and you know, Sarah Palin's getting a divorce, right? I saw that in the tabloid. It was, it was on, it was on NBC, NBC News this morning. 31 years, man. No, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's nuts. It's a long time to throw it away.
All right, so BK, what do you think about turning our TAM-15 dojo there into a demand candle? Is that not okay with you yet? It's broken two previous swings. That I've already done it. You don't like it? I've already done it. Oh, you already done it. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's yeah it's it's a it's a good good trade. I mean it's a good supply. I mean demand zone. Yeah. Are you, Are you working, working out today, today uh, BK? Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. I will bore you with this, uh, this email if you want. I'd be interested to see the workout routine, but I can already tell you, I'm not going to be doing a pre-workout routine. The pre I know, right? Yeah, I ain't, I'm not in the competition anymore. I ain't trying yeah. that kind of stuff. Right. So, um, the, the emails, emails from this, this, this girl, girl, she's, she's getting, uh, she's, she's competing, competing in a bikini, bikini competition. competition. Uh -huh. And, uh, so, so she, she apparently, you know, she forwarded this email, email from her, her trainer, trainer to me. And, and so, so <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently he looks at the pictures and he, and he said, said something like, like not, not bad, bad, but you, but you need to work, work on this, this, you know, like very specific. And I'm like, oh gosh, if he sees a picture of me, he's like, what happened? There's, There's no, no hope here. here. Uh, I guess I missed that one too. Shoot. Yeah. yeah. I was at six and a quarter, sixty-six and a quarter. Did you get in at? Uh, did you get in where you you said you were at fifty? Or no, I was. No, no, no I was six, 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 six and a quarter. quarter. Oh yeah. Order canceled. I'm using. You're because I, I was using the. the um, it honestly it still made pop in there. there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you, I'm going to wait, wait on the next candle with this trade. trade. I, was I was using the 435, 435 candle. Were you, you, if, if I was, I was using, using the 430, 430 candle, candle, I probably would have been in. Which one are you using? Well, I just, I just encompassed the whole area, you know, I mean, because it's a lot of dojis right there. You know, a lot of, so you can't just pick one particular one, you know, um, at least I didn't. Yeah. So I just encompassed uh 65.50 all the way up to um, 67.50, and I'll just look and I'll just kind of look for a trade in the middle there. Gotcha. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I've missed it at this point. Let's see. Yeah, Mitchell, what do you think? think? <clears throat> I'm going to wait, wait for this candle to do what it's going to do. do. 
I'll, I'll probably pull it if the next candle gets looking weird, weird even if it heads back, back up to me, if it wicks off, off the bottom really hard, I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure, figure that it's gonna go through, through the zone. zone. But well, I, think I think we may get a little talk down low. Yeah, well, Yeah, yeah, had had I been, <clears throat> see, I was, like, like I said, I was using only uh, the uh, 435 candle. Had I used the, uh, like, 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 like BK, like he did, did, I would have gone, gone lower. lower. Yeah. That's all right. You know yeah, the important thing is? What's that good? We're not no, losing. losing. This, this week. week. This week is pop. We'll either be a zero or plus something. Because when I see one that I start not liking, I'm just going to yell out, I'm bored. Jump, jump, jump. How'd the auto trader do on Sunday? It lost, yeah, it lost. It was kind of an odd. It was, uh, it lost because it, I mean, it didn't even trigger a trade until six or seven o'clock that, that morning or Monday morning, which is, uh, which is kind of odd. So, but there's just price action just went sideways like that. So, um, I turned, I turned on, on my, my screen, screen Sunday, Sunday afternoon, afternoon, evening time. time. Yeah. And I didn't really love what I saw, so I didn't turn mine on personally. personally. Yeah, that was good then, yeah. You saw it. I don't know if it's the case, but with the auto trader, you want kind of big pushes up and down, right? That's what you want price action to look like, not sideways and small yeah, candle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want the candle you're gonna, that it's going to be triggering off of to be small. In my opinion, I don't want, you don't want a real big one there, but you want to catch the move afterward, yeah. Friday was a couple, tip, a couple point loss, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, went in our direction for five or six points and then backed up on us. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was the thing. thing. I, 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 was, I looked, looked at it at one time, time and I was like, man, I'm up. up. And then uh, when, when it closed, it closed out, out, I was like, well, well, it wasn't, wasn't painful because I'm on the micro. micro. Yeah, and that's good. I mean, that's the big thing is it's like, like $26, $26 or something like that. that. Yeah, that's the big deal, staying on, you know, and that's what I – was that we talked about that a little bit this morning actually Soto had asked about it and then, and I said it's going to lose five or six times in a row at sometimes you know it's going to have a little stretch of losses but you know but you just got to leave it in there stay into it and take the trades because it's going to work itself out it's proven to do that over time so but you have to that's why it's very important to be very have the right money management in place you know so you can take those small losses and catch the big ones you know and um and that's the whole key to it, you know, and not over leverage yourself. I agree. Let it do what it's going to do, man. And, uh, so. You like you a Tuesday, Tuesday trade, trade though, don't you? you? Isn't it Tuesday, Tuesday you like a trade? trade? What, the auto trader? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it has an auto, yeah, it does trade on Tuesdays. Um, but I don't, I, I, use, I don't turn, I don't use it on Tuesdays right now. The main main three days I use it is Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. That's how I love to do it as well. But I kind of walk, I look at the market that day, see what we got, and then mm -hmm. just kind of. And I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I know it's just. But I did think on Sunday I was like, you know what, I'm not turning it on today. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it worked. It worked out for you, so it was good. Um. So like today, it would have been looking at. Um, what do y'all think? think? What do y'all think? think? Leave, Leave it alone. 
I'm not messing just, with it, but I mean, it's, I'm just gonna, gonna kiss, kiss right there where that one's at the top and go back down. down. Yeah, very well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very well. Double top there and drop. Absolutely. That's what's doing, doing there. there. She goes. goes. Did you get in it? No, no man, I, I talked talk about, about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, just giving our viewers, our viewers plenty, plenty of knowledge. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. It just, it just looked, looked to me like, like that's, that's what it was going to do. The way, the way that, that candle, candle was, the previous candle, candle was sitting in volume, volume so low. low. Mm-hmm. Right, right now, it's, it's been just steady decreasing. decreasing. It looked like, like it's just, just going to go, go up, up, touch, touch where it did before, and drop. Yeah, that was a good observation right there. That's, that's a so good trade. trade. Get yeah. in it, though, man. You have to get in it, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, it touched me. I was at 29.66 flat, and I didn't pick me up, though. Um, I, wanted I wanted to, to uh, BK, if you remember, remember back, back in our day when, when you were training, training me at the very beginning, uh-huh. you was, you know, they'll go to, to you know, about a tick above the previous wick high, high. Uh, you, know, you know, not, not to not, not go into the price and let the price come to you. So, so again, again, I, I was tempted to go into the price, but I didn't, so I just went wick high. And expecting to hopefully go one wick higher or two or so. And I think it's just to do it this time, but. Uh, that's, that's why, why I'm sitting, sitting at 66 six, six flat. I gotcha. Yeah. No, that's the right, right reasoning. I mean, it's going to happen more often than not that it does do that. So, uh, but, you know. It's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Motivational <laughs> speaker over here. here. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm really into it today, huh? I'm just yeah, I'm yeah. feeling good, man. But, but yeah, yeah, it's you know I'm not gonna I'm not one to hype you up, man. It is what I, I mean. No, I, 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 I can't <laughs> tell you what it's gonna do or what it's not gonna do. So yeah, yeah. Now are you yeah, gonna, are you gonna, gonna trade, trade here on the, the uh, nine? Uh, sorry, ten fifteen candle. candle? might let me see here let me look at it it broke previous swing high so i mean it's a good zone yeah i mean it's it's a good one it's just a really large so you just have to figure out where you're gonna be at you know where would you be at in this trade if you decided to do it uh that's Uh, that's what i'm looking looking at right now now. i'm looking looking at at 60.75 and and i think the the better better or more conservative choice is 59.75 i'm at 59.50 blue line already initiated yeah that's where I'm sitting right now. It's 59.50 if I do it. 59. Uh, that's uh, right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> Be your own man, so that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm already in the train, train guys. I honestly, I honestly would, would not, not mind, mind going, going to 60.75. I know that's a little uh, uh, risky, risky for you guys, guys but. Uh... Well, I mean, you got a lot of you got good reason to do it there. I mean, open and close yeah. up there and a lot of rejection wicks. I mean, not a bad place to do it. Uh, for sure, not a bad place. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it might be a really good spot if you want to ask. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's not bad. You may know a little bit. Have you got a new computer, Sergio? No. Why? Well, you were just having trouble with it a while back. No, I... I was, I was just, just I, I, just I just can't, can't run, run multiple, multiple programs, programs at once, but, but so, so far so good. Okay. 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 Um, looks good. Um, BK, do you, do you know, know any, any estimates, estimates on the, the uh, on the on RAM? The RAM? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here, here we, go. we go. I yeah, forgot yeah. to order it. I, 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 I had to feel. Oh man, I'm sorry. I completely forgot to order that. I've got. I better pull it up for it right I, I, now. I've been checking the mail every day. I have to climb over a mountain to check the mail, by the way. Oh man. 
Uh, you should ask me quicker because this should be there in a couple of days. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, so I, I use Prime, you know, Amazon Prime, so it should be there in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, dude. Let me go ahead and look at that and get this ordered for you this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I'm glad, I'm glad it wasn't like, like water and bread. It's actually like survive. survive but, uh, no no worries. Oh, man. My bad, dude. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I was, I was surprised, surprised it was taking a little longer. It was taking a little longer. Okay, but you know, so, I, mean, I live out in the mountains, so maybe, maybe you know, they, they only come out once a year. year so. <laughs> Still liking this move? Yeah, I'm yeah, kind of keeping an eye on it here. here. Uh, I like I'm not going to train until the next, until, until I see the next game. game. I, don't I don't really, really like, like it with all those wicks, wicks up, up top. top. Yeah, definitely showing rejection up there. But yeah, yeah this, this candle, candle closes, closes somewhat, somewhat higher, and the next, next candle, candle just comes straight. straight. Oh, Re Reheating my, my coffee, coffee again, again for the. Are you drinking it? <laughs> it's like heating it up out of the scent. Because I'll get you a coffee candle. <laughs> I'm not a coffee dude. You're not a coffee drinker, buddy? No. Me neither. Never have found the. I like an iced coffee every now and then, but to be honest with you, I could never have another drink of coffee for the rest of my life and be completely content. There we go. Yeah, I can go without it, no problem. I got it, I do enjoy it in the morning. A little breakfast there.
That's me, sir. Don't freak out. I wonder what the heck is going on here. I can mute it for a little while. Fill that stuff. That's alright. No matter me. Biki, have you already had practice? No, I haven't. I'll get something here pretty. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be done in about ten minutes, so I'll get something before I head over to the gym. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just do your own thing, Brian, or you go to a class or anything like that. Just do my own thing here. Yeah. My wife to be is a workout fiend. Oh, is she? Yeah, she does that stuff where people send her, you know, their pictures of themselves standing there, and then she gets them a meal plan and a workout routine and all that. She's done two a day since I met her four years. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's Do you work out? Uh, limited. Very, very limited. <laughs> I was blessed with a high metabolism and I'm decently tall, so I get to slip off. There you go. Good for you. But I need to. I mean, it's one of those things I feel better when I do it, but I just say it is. Like, I just don't have time. I don't know when I would do it. I guess in the middle of the night. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. <laughs> huh? Nah, nothing. Uh, just, just wake, wake up, up 30 minutes before, before you're supposed to wake up, up and, uh, you know, get, get a solid 30 minutes in. So I wake up at 4.30 every morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I said, the middle, middle of the night, night is my only option. option. That's, That's funny. funny. <laughs> that uh, man. So why you wake up so early at 4.30? You got to be at work at... Uh, yeah, I live about an hour and a half from work. Oh, yeah, okay. And so, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a commute, commute and then the, the traffic, traffic, as you know, is, it, it can, can just, just be awful. awful. Um, um, but she typically goes to the gym. I wake up, make lunches for Scarlett, get her ready for school, take her to school, go to work. All that kind of stuff. If I don't wake up that early, I'm, I'm groggy. I'm not real fast moving in the morning, so it takes that much time just for me to get rolling. And she makes a lot of racket when she gets up to go to the gym. <laughs> Instead of me getting irritated, I just go ahead and wake up. The lights come on. She starts stomping around. Are these using my headphones? Where's my pre-workout? All right, let me get up so I can. But also, I don't really have anyone to go with. I don't know. I mean, I had a couple of buddies that lived up here, but they've all moved off. So it's... I don't need to go. We're members of a couple of places around Huntsville, so... I could easily do it. I just don't. I got a bike I ride every now and then. That's my... Uh, I do enjoy that. I like it on my bike and riding. That's cool. You see, you have a mountain bike or a road bike? I have both, but I ride my road bike a lot more than my mountain bike. We got this greenway in where I live, and it's about 20 miles, 30 miles long. You can just, there's no, you know, cars can't get on it, no, no motorized vehicles, so it's decently safe. Um, 
That's what I like to do. I don't like to get on the highway. I've done a couple bike rides with a group in Huntsville. And it's all right, but man, I'm pretty paranoid the whole time that I'm going to get run over. Madeline did a marathon in Nashville. This is last year. She, she wanted me to do that with her. I was like, like not unless someone is chasing them. That's a long way to run. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I just don't like doing anymore is running. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not fun. <laughs> You gotta have some chemical imbalance to enjoy running. I mean, it's just <laughs> some people just love it. And I'm just like, man, how, how can you love it? I, I just don't get it, man. I really don't get it. But some people love it, man. So do you, Ron, uh, aren't you? No. <laughs> we, we were, uh, we went to Fleet Feet right, right before she was, was going to run the marathon, marathon to get yeah, some uh, stuff. Right there on, uh, right there on Belly Cow? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they were like, well, how was your training go? And she was like, good, I'm, I'm up to 18 miles. And they were like, oh, you're fine. If you can run 18, I'm like, do what? That's eight more miles she has to run. Oh, yeah, but if she can do 18, she can do the marathon. And that was that was the advice they gave her. Like, if you can do 18 miles, 20 miles, you can do 26. Um, but she didn't believe it. She went ahead and trained on up to where she was actually running marathons in training. But um, it was just insane to me to think that if you can run 18, you can run 26. I just didn't like that logic. I don't believe that. Pretty sure I'd pass out. I guess they do it all the time, so they would know. I guess, but... I don't, I don't have a desire to learn, so or to be able to do it. <laughs> so, no, I may do a five or eight. Yeah. Well, you guys are awfully quiet. Nobody's in this trade, right? Not yet. I have mine sitting at 2950 still. Or 5950, excuse me. Um, but I'm looking at 5875. Soto, did you get in? No, I'm not trading right here, at least not yet. Uh, can I keep an eye on it? Got a volume uh, spiked in. Uh, I just, uh, it's a wet area. I don't know. No, I'm with you. I, I, I probably am not. If I did, it's going to have to be towards the bottom. Uh, just, I'm not liking it. It just took too long to get there. Around and they haven't left yet. Where are you at, Mitchell? 59.50 right now. Um, if volume pops again pretty hard, I'm going to pull down to 58.75. But it's kind of do or die at this moment because uh, it's all over me. Yeah. And volume staying. I mean, it's increased 600 since we've been talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, there it just popped pretty hard. You're at 59.50? Mm-hmm. That's not. That's a good spot. I'm in. Yeah, so you should be in. Yeah, I think it's a good spot actually. I'm in. We'll see what happens. Got it, buddy. We have to play a song or something. <laughs> I'm at 58.75, so I'm going to hang out there and see if it comes down. I hope it doesn't, but I hope you get your point. I'm at 58 flat. Mm. I don't like it. Right. Boy, go up, go up. You know, like, all I need is five ticks. That's it. 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 That
I don't need anything else from you. You can come back down, do whatever you want to do, but just go up five. Don't do this. This is one person that was like, yeah, we're not losing this week. Watch you do the first <laughs> That's why I, 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 I try not to say much for, for that, that reason right there. there. <laughs> well, I think but then the little uh, 59 there. I think that's a good strong area of support right there at 59. That's a value yeah, area yeah. low. So I think, yeah. I think you might get it. I think you might get it, man. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've gone, gone as, as much as, as two ticks. ticks. Yeah, see that. Where you, well, got, you, 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 you got? You got? You got in a fifty-nine fifty. Yeah, fifty-nine fifty. He's up a tick now. Yeah, back and forth. Yeah, get on up yeah. there, dude. Yeah, you got yeah. it, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Now, now all I need is four. four. See, See, I'm, I'm being, being more generous, generous now. Now I'm three. three. Oh yeah! Come on! Come on! One more! One more! Here we go! This is this is terrible. You got it. This is flirting around. That's good. That's good. This is a good sign. Yeah, this is a good sign right here. I think it's got to get you. There you go. I got you back forward. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Good job, buddy. This was a mess. Order canceled. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. See, that's, See, that's why, why I know I don't need to go to the doctor right there. there. <laughs> that high cholesterol was seized, seized up, up falling out of my chair. <laughs> that didn't yeah. happen. Good, good deal. deal. Yeah, good job. That 59.75 was strong. Or 58.75, there was a good little pocket right there. But I just, I don't know, it was moving so slow I risked it. No, you're good, yeah, because... That 59, there, that 59 even is actually a value area low, so um, that, that was a good area to bounce. So it was good. Very nice. Hey, right. yeah, so how bad do you want to trade right now? Do what? How bad do you want to trade right now? I think, uh, well, well I, like I, I said, I think I told BK earlier, earlier. I don't, I don't, I, I, we, we got, got two stones, stones back to back, back here. here. And, and this, this is a big zone, so it kind of scares me a little because I don't know if they're going to go down, down first or whatever. So, so. I, think I think it was a good trade. trade. I mean, I don't like it. Was trade. Trade. I, just, I just, to, to, just, to me, me, it was, it was too, too wide. wide. And, and if, I, was I was waiting, waiting to get in at 1040. And, and I think 40, if they would have picked me up, I would have been okay going up there at 60.75. But they just, they're hanging around too long. And then I don't want to be too close to price action. Um, that, that high, so, so I wanted, wanted him to come, come down, down to me. So, so that's, that's why it just wasn't, wasn't my type of trade. trade. I understand. Yeah. So good job. We'll go ahead and update the spreadsheet there. It's point one for the individual. So good job there. Thank you. Thank you. Mitchell. Good job. Got us on the board there. So we'll go ahead and update the team here because I'm going to. Now, no, Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell traded yesterday, yesterday got, got three. three. Are you, you going to update, update the, uh, that, that on the chart? chart? I, don't I don't think anyone would believe no, we got a stone. Oh, okay, so, so whatever, whatever was just recorded, all right? Yeah, man, for the most part. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah, ahead and that's, that's, that's cool. leave it that way. Contract trade one, plus one, plus one, zero. All right, good job. That puts us back up to... Uh, $196 in profit. So we're 11, 11.96 as a team, so that's good. Um, and 1,000, we're up 92.80 as, from an individual standpoint. So good job. Good deal. So, 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 so I'm up 92.80 from an individual? Yeah. If okay, you're okay. trading, yeah, we're up 92.80. So good job. I made me feel good that made my day. Don't be productive today. Man. <laughs> That's good. Did you say I almost <laughs> lost it? What? No. That's a lunch. lunch time. Lunch time. He said, you almost <laughs> lost it. <laughs> what? No, no. Okay, I did. But. 
I mean, you almost lose or almost win every single thing when you're using a one point stop. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Hey, guys, are you doing this trade right here at uh, 62.5? I thought about it. I did. I'll trade uh, on the money if I'm going to do it. I'm good. Uh, seven five is where I'll go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, boys. Well, I'm going to shut her down. Y'all can keep going right. if you'd like to. Hang on one second. Let's watch this. Just a second. Just a second. Maybe. What? <laughs> uh, Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Uh, what? <laughs> just, just, just hold out for just a little bit. He's, He's trying, trying to, to break, break my record, record of five, five straight, straight trades and that loss. Just, just hang on. Back, 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 back trade. trade. Yeah. yeah, just, just hang, hang on. on. I'm what, literally 1.00 0 0 right, right now, so y'all so just bear with me. And we, we may, may get, get to increase my average on up one more. Wait, you, you got, got into the trade? trade? Yeah, yeah, I told you, point seven five. Oh, you got into the trade. I didn't know I, you got in it. I'm slinging today. Oh, I like that. Okay, well then come on and get it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. One, oh, up. There it is. Add me another one. All right, well, good. All right, well then let me do that real quick. I didn't know you were actually in it. Uh, I got, got in, in at 2962.75, got out at 2960.5. All right, good job. All right, let me go ahead and uh, update that then. I didn't know that. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a, sidebar a sidebar conversation. conversation. I, was I was looking, looking at, at it, and Soto, Soto was hollering out numbers, numbers so I couldn't so I really get a word in edgewise. And then, and then I just said, I'm in at 7.5. All right, good job. All right, nice. All right, let me go ahead and update this then. That was mostly for Soto's sake. Now he's fully burned. burned. Yeah, he's not happy about it. <laughs> he's watching on the sidelines. <laughs> All right, that's, that's good. Good. Put me in, coach. <laughs> that's amazing. That's a good job, yeah. All right. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, all Yeah, that was a little rogue. I, I just, just, I don't know. Oh, that's I felt like a good trash that's where I have my blue line at, right there. Well, actually, I have mine at 63 flat. You were at, you've been using as many blue lines now that I'm on the crosshairs. Yeah. It's legit. I just leave. I just lay them where I want them to be, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to shut down, down now. All right. All good now. We're good, now. We're, good. we're good to shut down now. <laughs> good to we're good. Down. I'm not I'm trading, trading again. again. I'm shutting shut down. down. Oh, good job, man. That was a way to be patient, though. He came out with two points. Good job, man. That was very, very good. Very good. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right, guys. Well, then, uh, good job, and then uh, we'll see you all in the morning. How about it? Sounds see good. See you then. Right. Bye-bye. You've been listening and watching the Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge. Live stream. Live stream. Remember, we're live daily, 9 to 11. And BK, Soto, and Mitchell are here to help the Titan Futures One Day Point a Day Challenge, where anyone can learn how to day trade the futures market. Till next time.